Hello guys, continuing to what we've learned last time. Today we'll learn how to create this cool menu animation with this hover effect. So I have already masked the photos with round shapes and made their titles. And now we're going to create a small circle. It doesn't have to be in the middle and change its color to the green color to match the background. I've already saved the green color to my color palette as you see. And as I'm changing the color, I'm gonna have to duplicate the artboard by copy and paste it and then expand the circle and bring it to the middle just like so. And then head over to the layer panel and take both the menu burger and the logo above the circle in both artboards. Now we'll have to make a copy out of the second artboard and head over to the pictures, align them with their titles and make a component out of them by pressing Command K. Now that we made them all components, we'll have to drag them into the third artboard and align them evenly by using the tools on the very top left hand. Now let's work on the titles hover state. So the idea here is when you mouse over the titles, it should show up the picture. And in order to get that done, we select the head component and add a hover state. And then we should make sure that we're selecting the default state. And then inside the head component, we'll find the mask. And then inside the mask, we'll select the circle and shrink it down. And then head over to the mask group and then decrease the opacity. Go back to the hover state and let's resize the circle and increase the opacity back to 100%. And let's do this with all the other components. Uh, let's see the result first. It works pretty well. Now I'm just going through the process again and again until I'm done with all the components. As you saw, I've repeated the same process with all the components. Now we're ready to see the result. So clean. What we're going to do now is we're gonna work on the burger animation. I already created these three identical rectangles and grouped them. Now you wanna create how will this icon look like when the menu is open. Now we wanna fade out the middle line and rotate both other lines 145 and 1 minus 45 and bring them to the middle. Now we copy the icon and paste it in the second artboard and make sure it's the same position and arrangement. Now let's work on a slight beautiful animation. What we wanna do is copy all the titles and paste them into the second artboard and then position them gradually. After that, I select all the titles and decrease their opacity to zero and select the artboard. Head over to prototype and link the second artboard with the first. I'll choose the time as a trigger and then the easing should be ease out. It's up to you. And then I'll head over to the menu burger and link it with the second artboard and choose tap as trigger. I'll keep it the same and we should be ready to see the result. So there you go. It looks pretty decent, so clean. What I'm going to do lastly is I'm gonna choose the last close button and link it with the first artboard. So this is our result for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching.